It's extremely surprising to know that most people don't believe the universe is rational. Some of you might think this is an outlandish claim, however, upon close examination, it sadly becomes all too apparent. There are those who flat out deny the universe is, at its core, rational, and there are those who say the universe is rational, yet their core belief or ideological paradigm contradicts that claim. For instance, a religious type will say the universe uh, exists because God put it there, but as we all know, that's not a sufficient reason, as you can immediately ask the question of who created God. Certain nihilists do not believe the universe exists at all, or that it's some inexplicable dream. Buddhists fall into this category as well, as they deny or refuse to engage with any big metaphysical questions. Someone who subscribes to scientism will say the universe just popped up randomly at the Big Bang for no reason whatsoever, or they'll say that question can't be answered since it's outside the scope of the scientific method. Upon closer examination, however, it becomes apparent that the universe can be nothing but rational, and we're going to prove this to you by the end of this video. What's interesting is that if you hold the universe isn't rational, the only other thing it can be is irrational. Now, by rational, I mean intelligible, or the universe in itself is based upon infallible universal laws. If the universe wasn't rational, how are we able to know anything about it? By claiming the universe isn't at its core rational, you have to follow this logic through and claim that everything you know about the universe is irrational and nonsense. Do you really think the universe isn't intelligible? If this is so, you must admit that everything you know and hold true about reality is absolutely false. As we will show in this video, this is a result of faulty human reasoning and has nothing to do with the universe's supposed irrationality. The universe can't be a little bit rational and a little bit irrational, as something rational cannot by default interact with something irrational. It has to be either one or the other. This faulty reasoning is ultimately a problem of compatibility. If the universe wasn't rational, or just a little bit irrational, it quite literally could not exist. It would be this chaotic place that wouldn't make any sense at all. In fact, it would be a giant vacuum with nothing in it. There even wouldn't be a vacuum. It would just be empty, null, void of anything. The word cosmos was coined by the ancient Greek philosopher Pythagoras and translated from Greek means order or ornament. Dictionary.com defines the word cosmos as the world or universe regarded as an orderly, harmonious system. Cosmos is more or less synonymous with, uni with universe, and for a good reason. If there was even one inharmonious aspect of the universe, there is no sufficient reason why the universe wouldn't just self-destruct. Some people will criticize us by saying that if the universe is based on a set of eternal, rational laws, then we must believe in some sort of creator god who put those laws in place, or that we must believe in intelligent design. This is ultimately a topic for another time, however, suffice to say that the two need not be equated. It's absolutely illogical to assume that a, a rational universe has to imply an intelligent designer who made it rational by design. Let us be completely clear. A rational universe does not require a designer in any way. In fact, a designed universe would be irrational. Simply put, the universe is an eternal mathematical system of uncreated energy. The first principle of thermodynamics states that no energy can be created or destroyed, only transformed. The universe and the mathematical laws that underlie it have always existed, will never not exist, and can never be created, let alone destroyed. To better understand the claim that the universe is rational, let's examine what is known as the Principle of Sufficient Reason, or PSR. The definition of the PSR is the following. For everything that exists, there must be a sufficient reason why it is thus and not otherwise. We all use the Principle of Sufficient Reason every single day. In fact, you've probably even used it in the short time you've been watching this video. Whenever we ask the question, why? we are automatically using this principle in all but name. 
Every single human being on this planet seeks answers to questions, whether they're trivial or profound, and the PSR is evoked every single time, regardless of how correct the reasons may be. To give you an example of how commonplace this principle is, picture yourself walking down the street. In the middle of the road, you see a basketball. Now, you know the ball didn't just appear there for no reason. Rather, there must have been a sufficient reason why it's there, even if those reasons might not be immediately apparent. If someone came up to you and asked you how the ball got there, you wouldn't say, I don't know, it must have spontaneously appeared out of nowhere. They would think you're either joking or crazy. The same goes for the universe itself. Why wouldn't there be a sufficient reason for its existence? It couldn't have just popped up at random. Just because you haven't pondered the sufficient reason for the universe's existence does not mean there isn't one. Furthermore, just because you can't figure out the reason for the universe's existence does not mean there is not one either. That's a result of faulty human reasoning and is certainly not indicative of the universe's unintelligibility. There are those who will say that discovering why the basketball was in the middle of the road is a lot simpler than trying to figure out why the universe exists. To them, the universe is so vast and complex that it would be impossible to ever figure it out. This view is actually based on faulty reasoning. As the philosopher Leibniz famously said, the universe must be the simplest in hypothesis and the richest in phenomenon. Why would the reason for existence be extremely complicated? Why would the universe unnecessarily complicate itself? The answer is the universe must be extremely elegant, simple, and upon close examination, self-evident. To better understand this point, let's examine the difference between the terms necessary and contingent. Something that is necessary is simple, self-sustaining, and needs only itself to exist, while something that is contingent exists only as a direct result of something else. To give you a simple example, the laws created by politicians are contingent upon the constitution of that country. The constitution is necessary, while the laws are contingent upon that document. To take this even further, the constitution itself is contingent on the group of individuals who compiled it, and even those individuals are contingent, as there could easily have been a universe in which those individuals were never born. You can apply this thought process to everything in the universe. The entire physical universe of change, with all of its stars, planets, plants, animals, and people, is ultimately contingent. Something is necessary if it is infallible and unchanging, despite all of the change that happens temporally. Mathematics is 100% necessary and relies only upon itself. 1 plus 1 equals 2 will always be true, even when the last star in the universe burns out. However, even 1 plus 1 equals 2 is reliant on something even more necessary. It's reliant on none other than Euler's formula, or the mind equation. Euler's formula is the equation for your mind and every other mind in existence, and together we all make up the universal mind. This one master equation is what gives rise to all of the contingent aspects of reality. Now, Euler's formula itself is the manifestation or expression of the principle of sufficient reason. The PSR powers the mind equation, which powers the entire universe. So all in all, the sufficient reason for the universe's existence is the principle of sufficient reason itself. This might seem counterintuitive at first. However, upon closer examination, what could be a better contender than that? Remember, the universe must be the simplest in hypothesis and richest in phenomenon. The PSR itself is the simplest answer. Some may scoff at our answer as if it's nonsense. However, this is not our answer. This is the universe's answer. Whether you like it or not, if the universe is rational, the answer must be the PSR and its mathematical expression, the mind equation. All of this might seem complicated, however, if there's anything you should take away, it is this. This universe and the ultimate reason for its existence is extremely simple. The difficult part is getting past human prejudice, emotion, preconceived notions, and societal and familial conditioning. 
Even greater than all of this is the trick your senses play on you. The universe may seem complicated with all of its ever-changing forms that play before your eyes. However, remember this is all just an outward expression of the simplest substance imaginable, reason itself. Rise above all of the seeming complexity of this world and view the universe from a bird's eye view. It is from this altitude that reality bears itself to you as eternal, enduring, and simple. Will you be one of the few who really understands? As Nietzsche famously said, the higher you soar, the smaller you seem to those who cannot fly.